In this tutorial, I will show you how to stream to platforms like YouTube, Facebook and Twitch. Resolume can stream directly, so for this we'll install OBS Studio. Besides OBS, you will also need to install the NDI plugin for OBS. You will find links for these applications in the video description. Make sure to reboot your machine afterwards. First, we need to send our composition to OBS so that OBS can stream it to YouTube. In Resolume, go to the Output tab and select Network Streaming NDI. Your Resolume composition is now being sent over your network where OBS can pick it up. Let's start up OBS. When starting OBS for the first time, you'll encounter the Auto Configuration Wizard. Let's optimize it for streaming. I'll use the default streaming settings. At the Stream Information stage, you can select the service you want to use. In this example, we'll use YouTube, but the workflow is the same for Twitch or Facebook. Make sure you enter your stream key. You can get your stream key from the platform of your choice. If you don't know what a stream key is or how to set up a stream on YouTube, that's fine. I'll leave a link in the video description to a tutorial from YouTube. Apply the settings and you're all set up. Under Sources, add a source and select the NDI source. Under Source Name, select Resolume. OBS is now receiving your Resolume composition. Press Start Streaming and OBS will stream your composition to YouTube. If you are like me, a tutorial kind of guy, you might want to use the Window Capture Mode to stream your Resolume interface as well. To do this, first create a new scene. In this scene, add a source and select Window Capture. From the Window menu, select Arena. Next, press the Studio Mode button. Now you can use the Quick Transition Crossfader to switch between your composition output and the Resolume interface. This method can also be used to switch between two NDI sources to VJ back to back with somebody else and you can have a little VJ party online. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.